So this one says a 63.0 gram piece of aluminum with specific heat of 0 0.25 calories per gram degree Celsius. So notice that calories is a little different. It's a different um, energy unit than you're used to. Um, at 25.0 degrees Celsius is warmed by the addition of 325 calories of energy. Find the final temperature of the aluminum. So it gives you calories of energy, so you don't have to convert between calories and joules. But um, it does kind of throw you a loop because it doesn't say what's the change of temperature. It says what's the final temperature. Okay, so you have to recall, and it's this is a, a mass equation because it gives you the mass, not the number of moles. Okay, so you have to recall the uh, heat equation. Q equals mc delta t. Okay, is everybody okay with that? And then it gives you some of these variables. It gives you m, which is the mass of the aluminum piece, 63.0 grams. It uh, gives you the specific heat, which is C, 0 0.215 cal per gram degree C. And I'm going to change that to cal over so we can cancel our units eventually. And then it also gives you, remember, the other thing we're looking for is the change of T, right? But if you recall, that's going to be TF minus TI. So there's a little equation there, right? So do we have these things? Well, TF is really what we're looking for. Okay, so we need to know delta T before we can do uh, TF. And um, we know TI is 25.0 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the cool thing about these ones is a lot of time you won't have to change. Normally you're changing your temperatures to Kelvin or whatever. These ones are in degrees Celsius and if you look at the specific heat that's also in degrees Celsius. Okay? So, um, let's go ahead and do this. So, uh, oh, and the, the energy we need too is 325 calories. I looked at it, I was like, oh man, there's one missing very quickly. Okay, so first thing we want to do, of course, is uh, isolate the delta T variable. Is everybody okay with that? So delta T equals Q divided by MC. So Q is 325 calories <coughs> times 1 over M, which is 1 divided by 63.0 grams, 1 over C. So in that case, it's going to be 1 gram degree Celsius per 0 0.215 calories. which is a good temperature value, right? So um, we should be confident in our calculation. 325 divided by 63 divided by 0.215. And so I get 23, so 3, so 24 point no. C is change of T, right? And remember, change of T 
equals Tf minus Ti. And we're looking for Tf. So Tf equals change of T plus Ti. Like that. So we're going to move this to this side. Okay. So change of T is 24.0 degrees C plus Ti is 25.0 degrees C. So that's going to be 49.0 degrees C. So the final temperature of that is going to be 49 degrees Celsius. Any questions about this one? Pretty straightforward. So this is one of the harder ones that you can do. I mean, I could imagine like if they had given us this energy, the heat, and kilojoules or something like that, we would have had to convert it to um, calories because the specific heat is given to us in calories. Okay? Just remember, cancel your units out. Would you, uh, would we have to remember that first? Which one is The 4.184, uh, 4.1. Yeah. Uh, so, um, it's good to keep it in your head. Usually, I can't say what they'll give you on the phone, you know? So, usually they expect you to do, uh, SI to SI units. So, probably they give you that, you know? So, any other questions about that? 